hello guys welcome to my youtube channel discover with jc today i don't come again now i won't show now some kind things eh we will never see about portal court i won't carry on and go one particular side of portal court and from going to that particular side we will still pass other areas join you know understand uh -huh. now welcome to my channel today nobody only broken english or english i won't join the two of them so we are heading to trans amadi okay and i'm not from potter court okay this is just my second time here in potter court so i don't know the uh, name of most of these places we're going to be passing but i just want to show you how potter court is how developed potter court is how arranged how organized the garden city is oh yeah now if now your first time we they tune into my channel yeah subscribe to my channel you understand like my videos share you understand uh -huh. so guys as you know this is potacot ph city you can see how beautiful this place is you can see the green grasses you can see how the wide roads see how green the grasses are no wonder it's called the garden city so you can't come to potacot without talking about bole and fish so i'm going to show you bole and fish you can see the big big fishes eh? with the plantain unripe and the ripe ones you can't talk about potacot you can't come to potacot and not want to test this delicious mm, you understand so guys the bole and fish was so tasty man i don't go lie on now it's sweet well well so like this so we don't they enter we they go trans amadi you understand now we don't they enter trans amadi so we did i think very soon blessing our ordinance road we did so you understand blessing our ordinance road we did so i will soon show you ordinance roundabout where uh, they use grass they do elephant sculpture you understand you get now i am with the worker now with the worker jj but i could get many estates if you they like if they find where you go live for nigeria waste you sweet pass to go to you if you can dip or tackle to tackle or find they get many estates the environment now big man environment now they for tackle to but things they expensive shall but as a big man will be go to the chest the bills with the common side now you understand Huh? Oh boy, see packaging now. The way they take package this place. This is Potter Court. Now here we get the second largest spot for Nigeria. Oh yeah, you they see that furniture as we they beside the road. No what I go carry camera and eh? show go that way. You understand? You go see they see furniture house. I'm on a four, you know. No be cherry can be on a better things nine day for this. So you understand. I beg if now your first time where they watch my videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you be returning viewer or more, I thank you so much. Cause uh, now now they give me motivation, how they do more videos. You know understand that. The road network for Potter Court could make you one drive like Jess Bond, but I'm on no try and share because this life too sweet, you understand? Uh -huh. Potter Court, they get many companies for you. Nobody only oil company in the Potter Court. Too. They get breweries, they get glass company, they get different things, you understand? Potter Court now will be saying job opportunities plenty based on saying a city we get many industries you get. Port Harcourt where they see so eh? now the fifth largest city where we get for Nigeria. Okay, okay, be like say eh? okay, you see the roundabout, see as it takes sharp now. You understand a trans amadi so you understand. Now you now you be we take so na trans amadi, you get that be so make I switch to English small. So if you're wondering how you can get to Port Harcourt, Nigeria, from any major city you are or any state you are in Nigeria, you can buy your flight ticket. Okay, this is ordinance roundabout. You see the elephants? Have you seen the elephant I talked about? Aha, uh -huh. we just passed it. I don't think my my camera can go back there. So back to what I was saying. If you are planning to come to Portacourt or you want to come to Portacourt but you don't know how to go about it, if you have an airport in the states, you are you you can buy your flight ticket. 
and because Port Harcourt has an airport where you will land and from there you take a taxi or Uber and you know they have nice hotels a whole lot of things where you can relax like pleasure park that's where you can you can go and she will many other interesting things then if you are outside Nigeria and you want to come to Port Harcourt you know the processes of coming to Nigeria as a foreigner then when you get to Nigeria wherever you get to in Nigeria you can come by flight or by road you can use um, road uh, transport to also come to Port Harcourt in any part of Nigeria you are so guys Port Harcourt is a place River State is rich in oil so they have enough money so you can see how the money is being utilized and developing the city As you know Port Harcourt is so nice it's a nice place to live with the architecture, with the buildings, and all that. So it's a wonderful place. The environment is, you know, classy. So guys, Port Harcourt is really a big city and you can get anything you want in this city from supermarkets. There are a whole lot of supermarkets, shopping malls, like the Market Square, ShopRite, and many more where you can get things without having to stress yourself, okay? Then food, they have a lot of restaurants that sell both local and intercontinental dishes, like a lot of restaurants. Okay, over there you can see Market Square. This is Market Square. And this is this is not the only Market Square in Port Harcourt because I think I saw at least two or two Market Squares and or three, you know. So Port Harcourt has everything that makes a, uh, a place, a city. Uh, boutiques where they sell a whole lot of nice clothes, both foreign clothes, you know. Tacot is a, a, a very big and nice uh, city. So, talking about sightseeing, Portacot has it all. Portacot has a zoo, has a park called Isaac or Isaac Boro Park, Pleasure Park, also have the beach. So, you won't be bored living in Port Harcourt or visiting Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt is also a cultural hub with various museums, art galleries and theatres. The city is also known for its vibrant nightlife and entertainment scene, offering some of the best places to live in Port Harcourt. The government residential area GRA is one of the ports is one of Port Harcourt's most posh neighborhoods. The area that became Port Harcourt in 1912 was before that of a farmland of people of Rebisi bracket Equiri. This according to Wikipedia. The colonial administration of Nigeria created the port to export coal from the collieries of Enugu located 243 kilometers north of Port Harcourt to which was linked by a railway called the Eastern Line also built by the British. Port Harcourt's economy turned to petroleum when the first shipment of Nigerian crude oil was exported through the city in 1958. Through the benefits of the Nigerian petroleum industry, Port Harcourt was further developed with aspects of modernization such as overpasses, city blocks, and taller and more substantial buildings. Oil firms that currently have offices in the city include Shell and Chevron. There are a number of public and private tertiary institutions in Port Harcourt. These institutions include River State University, University of Port Harcourt, Ken Saruwiwa Polytechnic, Captain Elechi Amadi Polytechnic, Ignatius Ajuri University, River State College of Health Science and Technology, Madonna University, Pamu, University of Medical Sciences, New Open uh, University of Nigeria. Okay. Port Harcourt's primary airport is Port Harcourt International Airport, located on the outskirts of the city. Port 
Port Harcourt features a tropical monsoon climate with lengthy and heavy rainy seasons and very short dry seasons. Only the months of December to February qual truly qualifies as dry season months in the city. So that's a sheep. I'm going to go close to, so that you can see the sheep very well. So that's a sheep over there. And it's docked in, I think there's a river here where it's docked. So you can see it's not only one, one sheep. I can see like three or four. And then there are some canoes, you know, in the river also. So you can see the, the sheep from here is blue and white in color. And you can see the river. So I'm actually passing the bridge that crosses over this river. Port Harcourt is a tourist dream destination. The city has been transformed into a stunning heaven for business and tourism. With a wide variety of attractions and historical landmarks, you can spend the months in the Garden City and not get bored. Port Harcourt is one of those places where anyone can feel at home. Even if you are visiting Port Harcourt for the first time, you are not going to miss out of the dramas that the city has to offer you. It offers boundless opportunities for unforgettable experiences for locals and visitors alike. If you are yet to visit this multicultural city that is flourishing with affluent history and tourist attractions, here are 8 things you notice on your first visit to Port Harcourt. One is magnificent architecture and incredible vistas which you are already seen in this video. Two, city of hustlers, you already know it's a city where you have a lot of, a lot of hustlers. Three, a destination for night owls. Four, luxury lifestyle. Five, Port Harcourt is not be as expensive as the say. Six, the city is well laid back. Seven, the traffic gridlock. Eight, transportation drivers are their devils. Please, if this is the first time you are tuning into my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. I have a lot of interesting videos on my channel which you can watch and have fun. Have you seen a tree, uh, a, a tree cave that can contain 20 people in it, that has 8 rooms and a parlor? It's a mysterious tree, I made a video about it and it's on my channel, so you can also watch it. Please guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm going to mention uh, one or two people that are popular, they are celebrities that are from Port Harcourt or were born in Port Harcourt. One of them is Sabinus, the comedian and content creator. He's, he's from Ikwere. He, he was born in Port Harcourt. Another person is Duncan Mighty, the Port Harcourt first son, Krona, is also from Port Harcourt in River State, Nigeria. And Bonner Boy also, of course, you know him, the uh, Grammy Award-winning artist, is, was also born in Port Harcourt, Nigeria.